Hello everyone. Welcome to the world of data structures. Our today's topic is how to find minimum spanning tree using Kruskal's algorithm. Hi, this is your instructor Janice Shah. So let's begin with the today's outlines. See students, the outlines the first we need to talk about that Kruskal's method to find out the MST and then we will see the difference between Kruskal's and Prim's algorithm. So here we have the first algorithm Kruskal's to find out the MST. Before I start with the MST, I just need to revise the few of the properties of spanning tree to you. The spanning tree, spanning tree that means it contains minimum how many edges? E minus V plus 1? No. The spanning tree contains minimum V minus 1 edges and to make spanning tree you need to remove E minus V plus 1 edges. From V vertices we can make V raised to V minus 2 spanning trees. Okay. So, out of the all spanning trees, what is our goal? Our goal is to find out the minimum spanning tree. That means a spanning tree that contains the minimum weight. Okay. That means spanning tree from all edges contains minimum weight. That is known as minimum spanning tree. So, here it is. This is the same example as preems, but the method to solve is totally different. Okay, you can solve MST using two different methods. One is Prims, which we have already seen in our previous lecture. Another is Kruskal's, which we are going to see right now. So first, all about the steps for the Kruskal's algorithm. See, here you first need to start with the ascending order of the edges. So first you need to arrange your all edges in ascending order. Okay. Next step number two is from ascending order just start picking up the edge with minimum weight. Okay. And start drawing or start make a Kruskal's figure. Okay. So make sure when you are selecting the edges your spanning tree should not be cyclic. It must be a cyclic. Okay. And repeat the steps until and unless you will select it, all the nodes minimally connected. Okay. So, see this is my graph. So, what is the age with minimum weight? That is FE contains 2. Okay. AB contains 2. Okay. So, I need to arrange age with minimum weights in ascending order. Okay. So, first I need to take like AB, then FE. Okay. Then age with 3 weights. See, CD. CD contains 3, then uh, students we can say 5, 5 is the minimum weight, that means CE and then we can like take AD, okay. After that we can take BD and DE, both contain 6 weight, AF also contains 6 weight, right over there. At last we have BC that contains 8, no weight, we have DF, we have DF that contains weight 7 and then we must have BC that contains weight 8. So here it is my first list of the ascending order. This is my second list. Fine. Okay. So all here, all edges are sorted in ascending order. So what you need to do is, don't waste your time. Just start with the age with the minimum weight. Here we have AB that contains 2. So I'm going to draw step number 1, my AB. 2, total weight is 2. Fine. Now, next we have EF. Next we have EF. See draw EF. Draw EF. Students make sure you need to draw a figure same as the graph. Okay. Do not make figure according to you. You need to place the node same as the graph. Just imagine the situation if India's map, if Gujarat is on the left side, then it must be on the left side. It should not go on the right side or top of the India map. Okay. So always need to remember your node should be placed as it is same as the figure graph. Okay. So after selecting EF, my weight becomes 2 plus 2, that is 4. Next we have to select CD. So next with the age is CD. It is minimum weight. Yes. Does it make a cycle? No. So I can select CD. Uh, whenever you are selecting the age, make sure it should not form a cycle. If your age form a cycle, then you just need to ignore it and take the next age. Okay. So here it is CD. Next we have CE. So here it is CE with the weight 5. So I am just connecting CE like this. Okay. 
and next we have students AD. So here it is AD. Okay. So here it is AD. Fine. See, all loads are connected with each other with the minimum weight. My total weight is 17. Okay, it is same as the Prim's algorithm. Students, so every time it's not like that, that the answer of Prim's and Kruskal's must be same. No, it's not like that. It can be different. It can be different. Okay. So what I need to do is I here I have already AD then all the nodes are connected with each other. So this is my answer. But if you try to take the next stage, if some of you may try to take the next stage, that is BD. So it goes like this. See, he will just take the BD. So this makes a cycle. See, A B D A B D A B D. Fine. So A B D makes a cycle. So if you are solving the example and if you have found that it makes a cycle, that means it's a wrong. Okay. So just ignore that H and take the next stage. Here I do not need to worry about the uh, take the next age because my all nodes are there. All nodes are connected with each other A, B, C, D, E and F with the minimum ages and my answer is 17. So this is Kruskal's algorithm. See in Prims, in Prims you start with a node, any node but in Kruskal's you start with the age with minimum weight. In Prims you selecting the adjacent ages. Okay. Adjacent edges of a node with minimum weight. In Kruskal's, you are selecting random edges with minimum weight. That is the difference between Prims and Kruskal's. But let me clear it very efficiently. For the first, we have the difference between Prims and Kruskal's. See, the Prims algorithm starts with MST to build with vertex, and in Kruskal's, we are just start to build MST with age with minimum weight. Next. To traverse a one node more than one time to get minimum distance. In Prims, we need to traverse one node more than one time. Here, in Kruskal's, there is no possibility of traversing one node more than one time. You just need to traverse one node only once. Okay. In Prims, see, Prims algorithm gives connected component as well as it works only for the connected graph. Okay. But the Kruskal algorithm is can be also useful for the disconnected component. Okay. That means disconnected components or disconnected graph. Repeat, Kruskal algorithm is all also used for the disconnected components. Next, Prim's algorithm time complexity is O of V square. This is not V2, this is V square. Okay. And then Kruskal's algorithm time complexity is O of E log V. Then V that means the number of vertices. So this is the difference between Prims and Kruskal's. If in exam there they did not written about like solve the MST or convert this graph into the minimum spanning tree using Kruskal's or Prims, then you can do any one of them. You can do any one of them. Okay. So that's it for today's lecture students. Thank you so much.